Hello everyone, welcome to Retro Ami Extreme Work in Progress Implementation by MadFranco008 and myself with Mini Extreme Penultimate Scenario Setup Case by Case Scenario Course and it's going to be an amazing release uh, come early August uh, tentatively right now but uh, one thing you're going to be able to do with the release and the Mad Franco got this work in he has it where we could actually power off the console 99.5% of the time the other 0.5% chance of not shutting down, simply unplug the power and you should be fine and good to go and dandy for the next boot up. Uh, you could also uh, basically quit RetroArch now. But on top of that, I was working out some memory fixes here and I'm going to show you one of the big ones right now. We're going to get into the specifics of, of course, uh, Dynamic Recompiler, which is essentially grinding the game to a halt for a micro millisecond, depending on the game case by case scenario. And uh, we could go into uh, basically settings on screen display right now uh on screen notifications and we're going to go to notification visibility and we're going to do memory usage and check this out here once i start the game what happens is think of the excite bike uh overheat meter the more you hold down the faster accelerator the quicker you overheat and once it overheats you can't use your bike in the game but in this case if that gets up to 487.59 megabytes while you're running the game it's going to freeze your system but I have a fix in place for this, which I'm going to show you. And uh, this has been an issue uh, with Nintendo 64 cores for years. But see, it's 204.15. It's just going to keep going up incrementally until it gets to 487. I mean, it might take like 10, 15 minutes. Some games like Killer Instinct will take uh, less time. Uh, Mario Kart might take a few hours. But uh, like I said, I have a fix for this. We'll do like a quick uh, race there. Nice. Nice wheels. Oh, it sounds like the guy from these games are like from RC to Go for PlayStation 1, Wave Race, Hydro Thunder, etc. See, it's just gonna keep going up here. And there are only a few ways to fix this, and I'm gonna show you one of them. Okay. So, yeah, you can play this and uh, probably get like a good 10 to 15 minutes in on this specific game before you start having memory issues. Sometimes a little bit longer. But that 228 is gonna go up to 230. 231, it'll just keep going up until it is such a, oh, 242, it'll just keep going up. But there's one thing you could do once it goes up to the four, like close to 47, it pretty much uh, save your time. I'll get into this. Oh, geez. Just keep going up, it won't stop. <laughs> like I said, some games take longer than others. Mario Kart and uh, Mario 64, you're generally okay. Smash Brothers, Killer Instinct. You're not okay. It's going to be a lot faster. 277. Jeez, it's like a countdown to the end of the mod world here. And uh, the next movie I'm going to see is probably going to be the Thor. Uh, Love and Thunder. Was it Love and Thunder movie? Uh, it's interesting because Christian Bill initially said he wasn't going to do another superhero movie. He was a little bit uh, uh, distraught over doing Batman. Just didn't like having the cow and cape in general. It wasn't his style. But uh, he's a great character method actor, and I always love him, how he really got into his roles for stuff like, of course, American Psycho. And uh, you might remember uh, American Psycho, you don't quite know if it's really uh, real or not. Look, oh, jeez, we're almost out of memory here. We're getting there, 75% out of memory here. But there's another movie by the same author, it's called Rules of Attraction. In the movie, they actually talk about Christian Bale's character in American Psycho, so you know for a fact the movie did take place. Minor spoiler though. See, the memory's running out. That is a problem. One thing you could do to fix the memory here, and uh, this is not a fun way of doing it. You can go into video output, you can go into force disable sRGB FPL, and you can toggle it one direction or the other. It'll give you like four or five minutes of free memory again. But look, if I keep running this for maybe 10 or 15 more minutes, it's going to get up to 487, 59, and crash the game. So you got to meticulously micromanage your memory. But check this out. You're going to really love this. I have a fix in place for this. It is never, ever, ever going to run out of memory again for you. It is going to be static, and it's going to pretty much uh, fix the dynamic recompiler issues. Uh, we're going to go into here, and we're going to load the game with uh, the Moopin 64 Extreme Amped uh, Work in Progress Core. Now check this out. We're going to do the same memory test we just did, which we ran for a few minutes, and we ran out of memory. Uh, let's check this out here. Memory at the top here, and let's see what happens once it takes into an account here. And I'm going to blow your mind with this test. Here you go, Matt Franco. This is what you've wanted. 
And this may actually fix Donald Duck and such as well. We're at 222.63 right now. And I'm really going to extreme amp turbo uh, amplify this just so you can see how well this memory works. Because I could have actually crashed my system uh, very, very fast with the other core if I wanted to. I'm going to show you exactly how I would have done that. Uh, let's start the game here. 236. You're going to see it's pretty much going to get to a point where it's really not going to increase a whole lot more. Welcome. I mean, you'll see what I mean in a moment here. One player. Yes. Single race. Full grid. Okay. We should be fine. Good choice. Nice wheel. Just pay close attention here. Welcome to Coventry Co. Okay, let's start us out. 24318. Remember, we got to like 360 or so on the other one. Now, uh, what better way to speed up the memory uh, usage than to go into uh, basically desync the audio? So we're gonna run this real, real fast there. We're gonna try to run out of memory as fast as we can here. As much that memory here. There's gonna be a point when it simply won't increase anymore. It's gonna stay static. I've already done the test there. Just keep watching. Remember, we got up to 380 or whatever. We, it would have run out uh, inevitably. We got this. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get to like 380 or something. I doubt we're even going to get anywhere close to that. Oh, let's actually try to drive it normal here. And this is going to basically vary. Think of like control out delete on your Windows computer and how sometimes you'll have better memory than others. Just depending on your system. It's almost like a Russian roulette of the memory draw sometimes when you boot up your system. Sometimes you might have like a static 228 megabytes of RAM used. Other times you might have 238. Another time you might have 286 like this right here. But every time you exit RedShark, it's pretty much going to clear your cache. Look, we're, uh, <laughs> oh wow, that was awesome. We're like 288 here. I don't think we're going to get much higher than this with this implementation here. You're going to be able to do this on many other games. You're going to be able to run Killer Instinct and not have a crash. I mean, I can load up Killer Instinct right now. It will simply not crash anymore. You can let this just sit idle. The memory still run out. But here you go, man, Franco. Here's your memory fix. And I've already ran this just sitting there uh, for over three hours. And it did never it never ran out of memory. You don't need to do the SRGB toggle on this way, by the way. Come on, let's run out of memory. We're not going to. It's just going to keep going and going and going. We already uh, exponentially ran this for a longer, a lot of time than we did with the uh, Ludicrous Core. Okay, we'll get our first place mode activate. Awesome, awesome game. And one of the uh, games that I actually bought many, many years ago that I regretted buying for Nintendo 64 was multi-track racing, uh, multi-racing championship racing. It's like kind of like a, it just wasn't quite as adventurous and awesome as Vito Adventure Racing, in my own personal opinion. Or 293 seems to be pretty static here. And when I did my last test, it actually stayed at 228. I mean, it just, like I said, it just varies on the Russian roulette luck of the draw here. But the main thing is there's a significant uh, amount of fixed up here. Where normally you'd have your micro millisecond where the game grinds to a screech and haul. And if you ever like play a game like Ridge Racer and desync the audio like this, you'll see little lapses in memory which is essentially the dynamic recompiler recalculating the data on the fly. We're at 293.04. It is not really going up. Look, it actually went down. There you go. It went down. So on the other core, it kept going up and it would have kept going up. It would have never gone back down. You would have to do the SRGB toggle. So we're at 293.02. Our memory test is successful. We already repeat the amount of time it would normally take to crash the game. Okay, we're going to have to definitely do a Killer Instinct test, right? Oh, look, it's going down even more. How awesome. It's like bottlenecking your internet where, like, uh, if you're on the st same street and uh, you have many, many people using your internet, they like to bottleneck it and give you kind of a threshold that you can't go higher than. So, yes, memory fix for the winner. Now we're going to turn that audio uh, thing back on. Uh, on. 
And we're going to go to low content. Uh, and we're going to load up Killer Instinct there real quick. Uh, let's go to my dummy folder. Remember, Killer Instinct is another game that would typically crash within like 15 to 30 seconds to run out of memory. And so would Paper Mario and Super Smash Brothers. Uh, let's check this out. Same core. Another issue that used to happen in the earlier implementations of Nintendo 64 cards, you could load one game and then it would crash your system. Okay, we're at 291.43. Let's see what happens there. And we're going to try to uh, intentionally crash the memory again. Remember, this should typically crash in about 15 to 20 seconds. Let's try doing this. See how far we can make this before it messes up. So yes, you can flawlessly run always in Total 64 games with no more crash uh, issues whatsoever. The only kind of crash you might want to deal with on your mini classics would be the Crash Bandicoot game. 